Hello guys, today I'm gonna make a simple app. Uh, this will be a Simon to app. So actually here you can uh, put a music file in the raw folder and that music uh, will be played. So it's a simply music of God. So this one. So um, here you can select any God. Suppose actually all are same God. So okay, you can uh, choose from gallery also. <laughs> but I don't have any God now. Let's take this Jiva. Yeah. So this is the pick, and here you can uh, give any number of counts. Suppose six. And this mantra will be played six times. Uh, actually, you can use it in morning time. You can uh, set a counter here, and you can listen to the music. So it's a very crucial app for all those God devotes. So here we'll have uh, all these things. This just as info. Okay. Let's start. Yeah, my Android Studio is opening. It will take a little bit of time. Actually, this video is dedicated for one of my friends. He told me to make this, so I am making. Okay, let's start a new project. Actually, I already made a project here, but I want to show it from beginning. Mm, the name of the application will be Sai Sagrafa uh, Mantra, and the domain name will be this. Actually, it's one of our friends' domain name. Yeah. And we'll be doing it in desktop only. Okay. Okay. The minimum version will be in 16. Okay. And let's take empty activity and yeah, let it be main activity. Okay. The project is building. now so it will take some time i have all the resources available um, in this folder actually yeah yes i'll record this this and this I put the, all this file in a download link so you can download from there. And uh, we'll be putting ads here, so I have my uh, ad ID is copied here. My laptop is so slow. <laughs> yeah. So this problem won't come to your uh, computer. Actually, I have not upgraded my PC version. That's why it's coming. I'll just uh, lower this to zero, and the problem should finish. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> really the screen screen recorder takes too much memory. Yeah. 
Nah, it's okay. Okay, so we have to add one dependency for the Firebase ads. So let it first build a gradle. We add our dependencies in this uh, calibration inside this. Actually, uh, these dependencies are all short of libraries where you can use those classes uh, to improve your project. So, we'll uh, use the uh, Firebase ads, so that will just provide us the classes and methods to implement that app in our app. Okay, let us type here. So, it will be com Oh my god. Is com dot mutual dot firebase firebase x and the version is point two point six. Yeah. Okay. Let it build a grid. Yeah. We again have to sync this project. So we'll just uh, use one library here that is Firebase Apps. We'll be deleting this constant layout, we will not be using it, but later we'll do it. Any other video tutorial will uh, almost be around 2 or 3 hours. So let's do it slowly. Master left time. Seven minutes. Well, here only seven minutes. Okay, let us close this. Let us make this related here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so we have to delete this. So we don't need this at all. First of all, uh, go to the values and these styles. Actually, the action bar is depreciated now. We wouldn't use this action bar. We we'll use toolbar. So yeah, type in no action bar. So, and the color, okay, we'll use, uh, what was the color? Um, let me see the color. Inside of it. Mm. So, these are our color hex values. So this is all my, these two are dark brown colors and this one pink, I think, yeah, and this is white black and this is deep orange. So we can use that color from reference and okay, close it. And let us uh, copy the string that the app ID. That's it actually, string. I uh, was this is the So our work is done here. You can close it. Uh, let's code our main activity yeah, So this is the XML file where we design the layout and look of that app actually you can say the UI so 
first of all we have to include that toolbar actually we deleted that action but that's why we need to make a new layout here toolbar keep it in and toolbar and the root element toolbar. Give the height as rep content. So rep content actually means uh, that view will take only dead place uh, means which space is required. The view will take that much space only. And match pad means uh, that view will take the whole space available. So we can give it is a background color, color primary. So actually we can reference our color from here by using that add color and then we can give that color primary. And you can give any color from here but for material design we use color primary and the dark bar uh, this status bar will be color primary dark so our work is here uh, actually we need to give it an idea okay. so you can include the layer that layer toolbar layer here So to our toolbar came here, we can reference that layout to any layout, and then we will use a scroll view. Scroll view is generally used to uh, scroll. Uh, if there are too many items that are not can be shown in a view, then you can use this scroll view to scroll uh, on this vertically. So we need to give this below the toolbar. Okay. Let's keep a relative here. So inside a scroll view, we have to give only one view. We can't uh, give more than one view. Suppose we can't give this, it will show render issue. Scroll view takes only one view inside of it. So. Let us make a linear layout with red content and match pad. So inside that linear layout, we'll have text view of text view of red content. Yeah. content. Okay. The size be 16 text view and let the style. Text C and okay. And to give it a padding of Okay, we need to copy those image files. Here are my images. We will copy the launcher icon also. I already have my launcher icon here. Now, that one will take it as 120. Under the height, the height and size will increase and it won't fit. We need to give the orientation of vertical, and this will make a design vertical like this. Okay. So, keep that going down. So, I want to give a little margin. Oh, 
also you can launch it button immediately. So we have uh, we get this ideas image here. So what is this ID? Actually, this ID is some uh, actually uh, constant. Uh, there, uh, you can say constant name which you can reference to our Java class files. We need to change the image. Perfect, and then we need to give a button. If you don't want all the caps and it's all the text to be caps, then you can all caps. Yeah, text and caps. Yes. Um, okay. If I can see this IPS. this IPS. Um, open gallery. Okay, let us make it more look more good. Then start six button. Left. Button. Right. And then, okay, we can uh, give custom design to this button. We need to make a layer to it. Yeah. Let us name, yeah, name this as mm, rounded corner Gucci. Okay. Need to make this letter a shape. Brown color, so I give it color primary. Now you took a new need to give corners. This will add radius. Let me now give radius of 60 p. Okay, so you can uh, see one example of 60 on 61 on like that. So you can use this step down here around that corner of the point. Yeah. Okay, we'll uh, change the text color to white. It looks perfect now. So we need to make this right side design. So basically, in relative layout, we have to place a few as relative to others. So this is a relative layout, and uh, this is actually this is one linear, linear layout inside a relative layout. And this ID is LL1. So our this this linear, linear layout will be right to of uh, LL1. So we can write here, right layout to right of LL1. LL1. It will come here. Okay, now you can look here. So we also need to add this attribute. Now background color will be color from here. Okay. So um, we also give heading of entity here. 
you know, more of this part of the day, yeah. Okay. Here's another image one. And the size being 150. ইউজ
What to the soil? The background color of this was anti points in the air. Why this FID is coming all the time? Text color will be white. And the margin top will be 25 seconds. Text will be non start shine. Let us keep this text class here. And I can going to give text view to text picture. So let us copy this. Yes. So here one will uh, just text view to show. So we will write here. to keep a uh, margin top margin top of 20 people and this is gonna see you can see it is calling and here it will just be a bit more Okay, our design is done here, so we can close this. Actually, have we defined the IDs? Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, everything is done. We can close this and then we need to. Okay. We need to rebuild the project. Actually, my laptop is a whole bit of slow, that's why <laughs> this problem is giving. Okay. <clears throat> mm, now we can uh, go for the media player. Uh, let us now make a new activity. Uh, let the activity name be media. And close this. We will do all the Java part later. First of all, uh, let us make the exam part. And uh, we will divide this tutorial into two parts. First, the exam and then the Java part. So here you can keep a relative layout. We need to include the toolbar. We need to implement the again scroll view here. Okay, I forgot that one thing we can uh, add apps here. So put the active domain here. We need to add add view. 
So it's a match parent and web content. And now let the ID be add you know the ID. And the type of the ad will be banner so ad size. XML activate here. You can copy this. And this will be X. So at the type will be at size. The at size is smart banner. Okay. And the add in it add in. Oh, why does that just not come in? Let's see this okay. Okay, it's perfect. I think that comes at yep. Now it's perfect. So we need to point it to more bottom. So align that bottom will be true. Yeah. Okay, our idea was this, and we need to make this a bit so and go. Now you can see that this layer is above this, so they actually always be shown. Okay, so we are uh, coding here in this media player, Excel file. So inside the scroll view, we will be following in here. And then the content, and inside that we'll keep image frame and let the image view size be 200 dp. And background size, which will give you to the largest space in it, and the gravity. Okay. Okay, let us first go here. And here we need a text too. It's perfect. So then we have a text now. We have a text already. So now I'll show you the text. So we also need to add that to the activity here. Just for testing purpose. Okay. And going to keep it the Okay. We'll do the margin here. Margin identity and that's perfect. And we can style and go and we have margin that we can. So we also need to mention this bigger paper. Okay, now one more text view. We can copy this. So this text view will contain a mantra name. The mantra is and let us skip this example. Okay. And a margin of and okay. Now we can make a linear there. I will mention the size, yeah, I need to mention the size because it will be too small if we don't mention Okay, 
what kind of that is. <laughs> and that will be a rep content. If it's bad enough, it can be too. And also grab it yes. So hot here. Okay, we need to add to image view a play button. So we'll first copy that. The files are here. Pause play stop. We copy this tree and put here and drivel. Okay. Now you can add the image view. And now we'll give uh, width and height of 50 dp. And of course I will be a first button background so this will be this will be close and um to leave a margin right of 52 to separate it from that stop button okay. and just copy this we yeah. have this and this will be a start button and here it will be an and here it will be start okay our coding is done okay we need to actually add that that here we we'll just copy this below the score view we we'll have this and we need to copy this scheme also Okay, and let us name this as add view media. Okay, let me need to move the scroll view above that. So, okay, our two Excel file is done. Now, let us make the splash screen. It's a very uh, simple activity and a layout. You just need to add uh, an image view. So you can, you can just give it a layout here. Yeah. Just add one image view. All of the image parent. Remember. We need to give a special screen background. I have here this one is yeah. We give this special copy this here. Okay, this will be our special screen. We didn't, don't need to give any ID because we will not be referencing it in our activity file. Okay, again we need to build the project. We need a one last activity that will be uh, about activity. Also, we need to design that. Uh, where is that? Okay. About. Uh, this one is done. Let us rename the, this to relative term and we will be doing 
input R filter. I T also filter. And then we'll be implementing a scale creation. As we are using. And then we'll just implement the new function. We can first of all we can copy the this one. Yeah. We'll also be putting this at in the adult interface, so we can put it here. We can make an unfortunate that. And uh, we'll rename it to have you and pass. Okay, okay everything's done. Just on the this number and this okay, now only we need to add text here there are a lot of text actually so we can copy the layer copy it from I don't want to type anymore yeah. and this one I'll show you the text, don't worry about that. This. Okay. Yeah, we'll give you the background color at the point. And also you need to give it a logo. Um not okay. mm, yeah. So we just want putting one image here with the name as logo. You can rename it to anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we have just put uh, this image view first, this for this one, and just takes you thing more. Okay. Our whole uh, layer design is done. Okay. Now we need to add one more thing and. We need to add um, a menu resource file, so we need to first make a dev directory and in the menu we need to create a menu resource file. So this will provide the menu that uh, a toolbar appears here. Keep the uh, title as share and give name share. Icon will point to Android internal icons. Order in category Android. Show as action. This show a section has always will always show the icon in the toolbar. And if you click menu, then it will show like this menu. But we will it just show as always. Menu three. And this will be menu about us. And there will be essay dialog info. Okay, we don't need icon here, and it will be next. And this will be menu more. And give this order to 301 and 102. Okay. So everything is done. All the design part is done. So see you in next tutorial.